Today, a Pulaski County man learned how long he'll spend in prison for beating his girlfriend to death and leaving her body in a sinkhole. Johnny Hendricks pleaded guilty to murder and evidence tampering for killing Monica Wells last year. Police say Wells' eight-year-old son saw some of the crime. But as WIMT's Phil Pendleton tells us, her mother is not happy with the sentence. Prosecutors say the death penalty would not have been on the table had a jury considered Johnny Hendricks' punishment for killing his girlfriend, Monica Wells. They took my daughter, took his mother. Yet Wells' mother, Brenda Helton, approached the judge, telling him she wished capital punishment was possible. The judge followed the prosecutor's recommendation of 25 years in prison. You know what you were wondering? This is the day that I ordered the judge. Hendricks beat and then killed Wells in October 2014 at their home on Providence Road near Mount Victory. Police say he tried to hide her body in a sinkhole. Hendricks was arrested at a relative's home in another county. He's pled guilty to the charges. He wanted to be in control. She wasn't allowed to cut her hair. She wasn't allowed to wear shorts. Helton says Wells was beaten before and they asked her to leave him for good. She says this case sends a strong message about abusive relationships. Get out. Leave. Don't stay no matter what they promise you. Helton says Wells' eight-year-old son is now in counseling because of the abuse he witnessed his mother receive. In Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News. Prosecutors say had a jury found Hendricks guilty, they could have sentenced him to a maximum of life with the possibility of parole after 20 years. Tonight